Hey, it's Kyle Hall here with this week's Beat the Track. Um, so this week I thought we'd do something a little bit different and I chose a dance track, uh, which is Lady by Mojo. So let's get this clock in the corner and let's go. So this week we need uh, a capo and we're going to place that on the sixth fret. Um, and we're going to refer to these fret numbers as one, two, three, four, five, uh, just so it makes it a little bit easier for you. So we're going to start on the second fret of the A string and we're going to use our middle finger. Um, we're also going to place our third finger on the second fret but of the high E string. Um, and the first shape, shape one, is like this. So we've got this rhythm and our little finger hammers on to the next fret on fret number three here. So we've got this. So the rhythm, what I've kind of worked out from that is on the one and, and the and of the two, and the E of the three, if that make, makes sense. Um, yeah, you're best off doing a word association that will help you with that. So shape two, we move on, uh, the middle finger moves down now to the D string, and we put our first finger on the first fret, and we play from the D string downwards. <laughs> So that plays around twice. Then for shape number three, it's exactly the same shape, but we move our middle finger down to the G string. And again, playing the D string, so it's from the D string down on that one. Um, so now the, the second part is exactly the same chords, but we add an extra little rhythm at the end. So you got that extra little um, rhythm on the end of those back. And then also we have finally shape number four. Now our first finger goes on the first fret of the D string. We have our second finger on the second fret of the G string. Our third finger on the third fret of the high E string. So the B remains open. And that's the final fourth fret. Um, so the order in, of them change in the during the verses. Uh, I believe it's four times on shape one, then two on the next on the rest of them. And in the the breakdowns, um, I think it goes to two on shape one. Um, so you'll have to play around with the order. And lastly, I want you to bring you over here, um, just as like an extra little a bit of advice on sound. I'm using uh, the mix on my reverb pedal just over halfway to get that kind of synthy sound with a little bit of chorus as well it just adds that little bit of edge um, so let's stop the clock there thanks for watching guys feel free to let me know how you got on in the comments box below um, yeah feel free to subscribe and share in the links provided and I'll see you guys next time